Italian prosecutors have made a significant move in the case involving Juventus midfielder Paul Togba, as they have called for a maximum four-year ban for the player after he reportedly tested positive for the banned substance DHEA. Togba, who was a key figure in France's victorious 2018 World Cup campaign, has found himself embroiled in a potential doping scandal. The prosecutors in question, who specialize in anti-doping cases, have argued that Pogba should face the harshest punishment possible due to the seriousness of the offense. DAHEA, a prohibited anabolic agent, is known for its potential to enhance performance and is thus strictly banned by sporting authorities. If Pogba were to receive a four-year suspension, it would effectively sideline him for a significant portion of his professional career. The severity of such a ban reflects the determination of the prosecutors to combat doping in sport and send a strong message about the seriousness of the offence. Juventus, Pogba's current club, has not issued a statement on the matter so far. The team will likely provide their support to the player as investigations continue. It remains to be seen whether Pogba's defence team will be able to challenge the prosecutor's case and prevent a lengthy ban. Doping is a persistent issue in the world of sports and cases. Like this serve as a reminder of the ongoing efforts to eradicate cheating and ensure fair competition. Should Pogba be found guilty of using DHEA, it would not only damage his reputation, but also raise questions about the effectiveness of our anti-doping measures. As this story unfolds, many fans and experts will undoubtedly be watching closely to see how it progresses. The outcome of the case against Papa will have implications not only for his future as a player, but also for the broader fight against doping in professional sports.